Three, two, one. Oh! oh! <laughs> hey guys, it's Nicholas from build a and today I'm hosting a very special episode of Versus One. We've brought in eight guys to speed date two bachelorettes, and we're gonna find out what really matters more to them. Appearance or personality? Hi, everyone. Hi. Everyone looks good. Give us a little twirl, everyone. Give us a little twirl. Let's see it. Okay, yeah, we're doing a little fit check. And there we go. <laughs> Is anyone nervous? We're feeling good. You're nervous? Guys, don't be nervous. We have two bachelorettes for you today. I'm curious to know, when you guys are dating, do you care more about personality or appearances? Which one do you notice first? Which one do you weigh more heavily? Personality. Appearance, you know, only goes so far. I think really to get to know someone, you have to know who they are, like where they come from, what they just are. What you said first, right? The first thing you notice. Appearance. Because yeah. appearance, now, visibly, is more pleasing than once you get started know the person, then. That's when the personality starts to come. The looks definitely get you in the door, but the personality is what makes or breaks it, yeah. for sure. Well, good news is you kind of get to test both of those theories out today. So, are we ready? Feeling good? So, welcome to curtain number one. You're gonna meet bachelorette number one, but you're only gonna get to meet her personality. Okay, I'll let you guys get to it. I'm just gonna I'll like, leave you guys. Do it. Good luck. Hey there, how's it going? Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Dylan. My name is Dijon, by the way. Dijon, I'm Megan. What are your uh, hobbies? I like cooking and baking. I love to go to the beach and just lay there. I love to read. I'm a math tutor also, so. Has there anybody ever approached you and was like, Megan? From, you know, Kim Peele. <laughs> you know, yeah, from some Kim Peele. Megan! Leave me alone! It's a jacket, though! What was that? You know, from Kim Peele. Oh my god, I'm Megan. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Um, I know it's like the worst question ever, but. No worries. I'm, I guess like the sensitive artistic type, I guess, okay. I'm a cancer. I'm from Virginia. Oh, VA, what you doing out here? Um, I just moved out here for work. What you do? Social media. Oh, Jesus. I know, I know. <laughs> One of those. First red flag. For, wait, wait, for who, for who, for who? Uh, myself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what type of videos do you make? Most recently, I feel like I've gotten into the beauty and fashion niche, but I also make comedy content, a lot about like relationships, sometimes get ready with me's. I love watching the get ready with me's. Y do you? <laughs> I, I absolutely <laughs> love them. Whenever I see them, I don't skip them. I have to watch them all the way through. I know, they're so good. And they're so fun to make too. I do social media as well. So I'm, I'm vegan and I make food. So that's <laughs> kind of like my thing, yeah. My best best friend's vegan, so I try out some new recipes with her every once in a while. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, how do you like it? Do you like vegan food? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I've never been vegan, but the food's good. So what is your ideal first date? Axe throwing. <laughs> Just something interactively oh keeping goodness. engaged in. Oh, yeah. These are so <laughs> Honestly, I've never done that before and that sounds like a blast. What about you? <laughs> Something I would love is like getting a picnic blanket, throwing it down on the beach somewhere where there aren't a lot of people, getting a bottle of wine and just drinking from the bottle and looking at the ocean. That's like the earliest thing I could possibly say, I think, but I love it. Is that interactive enough for you? Uh, no? I take it. I have an idea. Uh, would you like to go to the beach and have a picnic <laughs> and drink some wine? <laughs> I love it. Um, I bring, uh, have you played the game We're Not Really Strangers? I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. Tell me about it. There's like three stages and um, it's just, you know, little by little opening each other up and just getting to know each other. Oh my gosh, how intimate, how scary. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's ended with like tears sometimes, which is oh. really nice. And you wanna play that on our first date? Why not? I don't know. We're just I mean... like crying on a beach with a bottle of wine. You know what, but it's, it's like, fine, it... I'll take it. I think everyone says this dating in LA sucks. Oh, I'm um, actually from Sacramento. Wait, did you guys like, you You live in LA, right? No, I don't. I don't live in LA. Oh, okay. I am I drove all the way down here just to meet you. Oh, how sweet. Wait, that's so cute, okay. Do you speak Spanish? No. Do you speak Spanish? I do, see, and I see in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. Oh my God. But I came here to play soccer. I'm actually a photographer out here. That's kind of sexy. I appreciate that, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what, photographer or soccer? Both? All of it. Okay. <laughs> Want to just do a bit of like a uh, word association? Word association? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 No, that's okay. so fun. So like, uh, first word, I guess, uh, family. Mine. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, uh, that's that's something. Uh, veganism. X. <laughs> Volleyball. Oh, fun. And the last one, I guess, uh, 
One Piece. Swimsuit. Y'all are laughing. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, was just, it was just getting good. Wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, welcome to curtain number two. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Here you're gonna meet Bachelorette number two, but there's a bit of a difference. You're gonna be able to see her, but you can't talk to her at all. And she can't say anything back to you guys either. All righty, guys. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, Three, two, one. one. So again, she can't say anything, but maybe she has a special talent she can show us. Oh, oh, okay, okay, well, let's see it. Oh, oh! <laughs> can I bust out my special talent? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. How much space do you need? Um, oh. <laughs> back up, boys, back up, boys. I grew up in the circus when I was five. Oh, that's a... So I can balance. Oh, Dude, this guy can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Okay, I can balance too. Check this out. Well, it's not that impressive if I have to hold you. Uh, okay, let me go then. Whatever you say. Uh, okay, actually, maybe I don't know how to balance things. But if it's one thing that I do know how to balance, it's my diet. Thanks to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Also, with Factor's no hassle prepared foods, you always have something nutritious on hand, even on days when you don't have time to think about making a meal, so you can stay in and get back your you time. And Factor's also flexible. I've been able to easily adjust my order size, enjoy with loved ones, and even skip a week when I've wanted to. I love their vegetable ratatouille because it had a ton of flavor and let me skip a trip to the grocery store. So if you're looking to find that balance in getting your meals in with whatever lifestyle you live, Head to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use code NECTOR50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now, now let's get, get back, back into the, the video. video. All right guys, now you've met Bachelorette number one and you've met Bachelorette number two. It's time for the big decision. So basically what's gonna happen, if you feel like you're vibing with Bachelorette number one more, you're gonna line up right behind curtain number one. If you feel like you're vibing with Bachelorette number two, you're gonna line up right over here. You guys ready? All right, go ahead. Make whatever choice feels right. Listen to your heart. My friends up here, you made the decisions really quickly. What, what was going through your heads? I already had my mind made up. Oh. Honestly, I just really thought that I could, you know, see myself maybe potentially go on a date with this person because yeah. I really liked her personality. She seemed very outgoing and I feel like I'm that type of person too. The, the second person is really, really pretty, but not really uh, the type that I would usually date. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, number two is like usually what I date, but um, I don't know, we had a great conversation and- Yeah, you don't want to give that up. No, I'm down for that beach date. My two friends who are in the minority, but you're standing strong. Tell me what's going through your head right now. What made this decision for you? It was the Megan thing, you know? She just didn't go with a bit <laughs> and <laughs> it's unforgivable. Megan, come back to the bar. No! Megan! Yeah, no, for me, in the time that we did have, um, I didn't necessarily feel like we connected a whole lot. And then initially, just looking at Bachelor number two, I just felt initially there would be more to, uh, totally. to gather from there. So that totally. was way behind my decision. We're going to reveal what Bachelorette number one looks like and you're going to get a chance to kind of vibe with her in person. All right, y'all, are we ready to meet Bachelorette number one? Yes. 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 Three, two, two one. one. Oh, what? What's oh, occurring? There's no one there. Oh, what's up? I was like, wait. Wait a minute. We know you. So, you guys have been dating the same girl in both curtains. The boys have made their choice, but Megan, it's time for you to make your choice. Do you want to bring line number one into the next round of dating, or do you want to bring line number two into the next line of dating? We have this line who picked you for your personality and you're not speed dating. You have line number two who saw you and they were just so mesmerized by your beauty that they picked you. 
Do you have a decision made? Yeah, so basically they hate my personality and they hate the way I look. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, okay, okay, hear me out. I've, I've been thinking about this since we've been standing here. And when I was standing in this line, you guys were saying reasons that you didn't like her, not reasons that you liked her. And statistically speaking, there's more of you here. So, group one. All right, group one! I have a better chance of fighting like my husband. You know? Or boyfriend, sorry. <laughs> Just silence again. Well, group number two, it's been real. It's been fun. We love ya. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you Hi. again. Nice to meet you again. All right, so you're here now. Yeah, I didn't think I'd make it this far. But are you happy you're here? I guess so. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm so sorry. No. I hope the school thing didn't scare you off. No, that was actually so impressive. Like, so, okay, tell me about how you found out you could do that. Um, the doctor prescribed me Adderall when I was like six. Okay. And my parents were like, no, let's just send him to circus school and that will fix his Oh, focus. you were dead ass. What else can you do? Um, like ride floor is yours. I'll ride a unicycle, walk on my hands. I don't have a unicycle Joke. for you. I have a unicycle though. Is it here? No, <laughs> Wait, I see you have tattoos. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's talk about it. So this is a, a quote. My dad gave me the greatest gift. A father could give his son. He believed in me. What about you? I don't have any, but I'm not against getting any. Um, I, I thought about getting one on my spine, but the problem is I have scoliosis. Oh. <laughs> so I think about it, and it kind of makes me laugh, because I'm like, it would be like, if I wanted to be straight, it would actually be like curved. A snake. <gasps> Yeah. I like it again. Yeah, that's right. Maybe like, yeah. yeah. That's a great idea, yeah, actually. One. Where do we leave off? Situations? You didn't know what One Piece was. So. Okay, tell no, me about it. It's a cartoon about a pirate with rubber powers. It's super stupid, but it's deeper than what I just oh, said. Okay. It's been going on for like 20 years or so. And I've been following the story along for like eight. And I have an obsession, like, when I start years. something, I want to know how it ends. I totally so get that. So it's like. That's like me with Riverdale. Oh my it's like God. horrible, right? No, it's, it's, so no, horrible. it's horrible. Like I can't, I can't stop. I just need to know what happens to them. Do you like to travel? I do. Okay, yeah. awesome. When Important. you say travel, it's like backpacking through Europe, staying at okay. hostels, and kind of. That's not really what I like to do. I like to think that I am like that kind of person, but when I travel, I mean, I like to just, you know, see the city and stay somewhere that's comfortable. Okay, tell me the story of how your parents met. I love you. Okay, so I actually got married super quick. The same for mine. Six months. Six weeks? Month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, they... my dad, he proposed after oh, six weeks. Okay, I, I love that for You're on a timeline. When he knows. <laughs> Yeah, when you exactly. Know, you know. When you know, you know. So when you're in a healthy relationship, what is it usually like for you? The healthiest relationship for me is just best friends. Cool. If you can laugh at each other, get along, mm -hmm. like dance, do stupid things. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I don't like things to be too serious. If you're having a lot of serious conversations all the time, I just want things to come naturally. I don't yeah. want to force them. What do you look for in somebody? I feel like I'm like in group settings and public situations, I'm not like super confident and stuff like that mm -hmm. but i have like a lot of like self-confidence yeah so i really like being with somebody who is confident in those ways because then it can like bring it out of me and stuff right like you kind of like balance each other yeah out. yeah are you religious or spiritual yourself i'm a beautiful balance of the middle what okay. about you um my family is christian but i don't really identify with anything, mm -hmm. but I'm not agnostic. I'm just about energy and good feelings uh -huh. and a well, healthy balance in that. You're definitely um, showing that you're like, from the current, your voice was so vibrant. Like the first hello that you did oh, was so gosh, vibrant. Yeah. And I thought about that, it was so funny. I thought about after my first hello and I was like, that was so loud and obnoxious. Hey there, how's it going? Hi! Just yeah. like these guys are gonna get scared. No, I love that, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's kind of, that's me though in a nutshell. Like my dad still gets my mom roses, he does all this stuff for her. That's the type of relationship that I want. Yeah, that's how I feel too, like with my parents, like seeing how much love they have for each other and so how that's much they love, like all of their kids too. It's just been, I feel like that is my relationship that I kind of aspire to have. <laughs> okay, uh, nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you too. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Megan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Amazing. Well, we're kind of at a moment of truth right now, guys, and Megan's gonna pick one of you to possibly go on a date outside of these four walls. I think I've made my decision. It was really hard, because you guys are like very nice and very easy to talk to. But I definitely did pick somebody that I think we have some chemistry, there might be something there. I love it. Well, do you wanna go ahead and let the boys know? <laughs> okay. Um, Horacio? Yeah! You wanna go on a second date? Absolutely. Perfect! 
Okay, we did it! Yay! Yeah, we did it! That wasn't so bad! That wasn't so no, bad! That wasn't so bad! Horacio, the chosen one, how are you feeling? I feel really good. good. I'm really happy that she chose me. Well, I'm curious to know, because I remember you were one of the ones that was confidently picking the personality line. Mm -hmm. So like, when you're dating, how do you weigh appearance versus personality? I honestly value both. Mm -hmm. So I try to find the balance. I definitely have dated someone where I went higher on looks, less on person, and then let's go full personality. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I like to find now like a middle ground. And she is actually like, like very much my type. I did have doubts though. Yeah. Yeah. Like I did. I did go straight to personality, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" But then I was like, "But if you're wrong, then you're gonna go out with someone that you really totally. like." So it was a win-win. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop chaperoning in a second. <laughs> but I'm curious, what led you to this decision? Honestly, just our talks, your circus trick, and it was just kind of your depth and maybe just how easy it was to talk to you and kind of the conversation was just flowing and I thought it was nice and I wanted to get to know you more, so. All right, what's the first date idea? What, what, where are we going? I already told you what I wanted, so. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the beach. Go to the beach. Go drink some wine. Yay! Horacio and I came on our second date, officially, with our beach, sand, and our picnic food and last but not least, Oh <laughs> Thank you, Jubilee. Thanks, Jubilee. <laughs>